My first guest, of course, is the weatherman on the Today Show here on NBC. Please welcome the cuddly and lovable Al Roker. Yeah, we did find the tape. That's a, that was a CPR tape. <laughs> oh, is it really? Exactly. That, that explains everything. Well, see. Why were you all naked? Uh, <laughs> it was a scary CPR tape. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. This is exciting. Well, this the Matt Lauer thing, we're pretty excited about. However, see, they didn't take my original suggestion. See, we Matt knows where he is, and then we have to guess. Right. My idea was, a SWAT team comes in the middle of the night to his house, kicks in the door blindfolds him, ties him up, throws him in a cargo plane, flies to a secret location. We all know where he is. He has to figure out where he is. <laughs> no American Express, uh, traveler's checks, uh -huh. no credit cards. Then he has to try to bum a ride to the next place. <laughs> that would be great television. It would have been. You know, we're going to do a little bit of that, that right now. I'd like you to close your eyes. We're right. going to do a hey. where, where in the studio is Al Roker. <laughs> close your eyes. All right, my eyes okay. are closed. All right, all right okay. everybody. <laughs> we got to go. find a place to hide. When can I open my eyes, Al? Oh, right about now, Conan. All right. Okay. How do I... <laughs> can my... you guess where I am? <laughs> well, that's the... Uh, judging by my crappy shot, I'm guessing behind the camera, yeah. How can you tell? <laughs> I don't know. It was just on instinct, Al. Did you? Yeah. Should we conduct the whole interview tonight this sure, way? Sure, no problem. Yeah. How are you, Al? How's I'm doing going? pretty good. <laughs> All right, Al. That's... <laughs> hey. This is kind of like that Clinton interview you do. You know, we should have this kind of sexy shooting on the show all... Oh, my God. <laughs> I have wax in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bailey, this is all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's wax. How was that? Was it fun? It was great. A chimp could work those things, right? Oh, that's awfully nice. That's the way to talk about your crew. <laughs> you still got a half a show left, pal. I know. They turn on me after every show. Like that. Uh, now, I understand recently, I want to talk about this. I understand yes. recently, on a serious note, that your dream came true, your lifelong dream. Yes, it did, Conan. I've always wanted to be a cartoon. I love cartoons. You are kind of a cartoon. Well, you what know, do you mean? Wouldn't, wouldn't life be so much better that if you could run in, fa in place really fast and then disappear, just a little puff of smoke, that sort of thing. So... I was recently animated and put into an upcoming, in fact, this Saturday, the Kids WB, the new adventures of Batman and Superman, I'm helping Superman out. Now, are you, pl uh, you so it's Al Roker. Al Roker. There's a little animated Al there's Roker. There's a little animated Al and Roker. And how does he help Superman? Like, what does he do? Tell him, well, there's a storm front coming well, in. Well, I, I mean, actually... <laughs> might be a, a slight missing of rain, Superman. That's Look out. <laughs> well, there could be a little kryptonite shower, you know? Oh. oh. oh that's... Well, actually, I'm doing the forecast for Smallville, Kansas. You, of course, know the significance of Smallville, Kansas. Wasn't Smallville where, uh, where, where Superman was, like, raised? Absolutely! Like, isn't he fabulous? Thank you for pimping applause to me, Al. I appreciate that. I'm, help I'm helping you here. He was raised by, uh, by the Kent family. Martha and Jonathan Kent. Okay. So, All right. Well, so anyway, so we're, we're getting that. deeper and deeper into nerddom here. Yes. <laughs> I am uh, a weatherman. This is going to end with you and me playing Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh. <laughs> My knight has slain thee. Uh, <laughs> or the words of President Clinton. Yeah. Take a look at Excalibur. Oh. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Oh, Al, oh, why? Why do that? Side it's a family it. show. It is? It's for the children. The Manson family. <laughs> Well, I want to see. We have a picture of you with the Superman on the... Oh, wait a minute. Hey. That doesn't look anything like you. I know. <laughs> I know. Wait a minute. That's you? That's me. Oh, okay. That's the cartoon me. Yeah. It's a different They gave world. you, like, this incredible V-shape, you know, yeah. giant shoulders and everything. That's nice. Well, they just inverted it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, uh, you're, 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 you're to be a doctor. Is this I right? Am, I am getting an honorary doctorate degree from my uh, alma mater, State University of New York at Oswego. <laughs> and that's the other graduate. 
from the nice Oswego that she could State. be here. Yeah, it really is. But I'm now, going up there in May. Do they know? Is there any conflict that you're gonna you're gonna get your it's a, you're gonna get a doctorate? Yes. And you're in a cartoon that they're not mutually exclusive. That's why I'm getting the doctorate. Oh, really? <laughs> exactly. For your fine work with Superman. That's right. <laughs> Uh huh. And uh, you know, we never talked about this before, but I wanted to touch on it before uh, before we ran out of time. You're a dad. Yes, I am. Which I, I, I didn't realize. Your daughter is how old? She's going to be 11 in, in two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how many of you have kids, young children, right. daughters, but I went shopping with her to look for some, you know, summer clothing. And I didn't realize that there was a point when the fashion designers of America decided my preteen should dress like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you seen some of this stuff? Little spaghetti strap things, and I, I, granted, I know your date wears these, but, you know, uh, you know, bare she midget. just turned 16. <laughs> so back off. So it's okay. Thank you. It's like the Spice Girling of America. Now, is it, is, does she love the Spice Girls? She loves the Spice Girls. She did a talent show at school and sang, I want to be your lover. You want to be my friend. Uh, you know the words. But the, the, the friendship <laughs> never ends. <laughs> And I'm king of the nerds. <laughs> I am your prince. That's right. <laughs> I serve you, my king. <laughs> my liege. Uh, I got a man bunch of things to mention here. Of course, the Today Show on NBC. Like, I got to plug that. Well, of course, you have popular to. popular show in the universe. Website, yes. www.roker.com. Yes. Man, you are a nerd now tonight. And uh, congrats on the honorary doctorate from your alma mater, the State University of New York. That's, That's right. That's great. And we've got a brand new t-shirt on the website if you'd like to... Uh, you want me to hold yeah, it up? Yeah, come on. Why do you think I'm on this cheesy show? <laughs> I had that coming. <laughs> and he's got a new shirt, everybody. You gotta check that out. And it's got the website on it. Okay. It's a lovely thing. All right, that's disgusting. Yeah, thank you. Um, I wore that shirt, so you can wear it. <laughs> You did? Yes, I did. Okay, every shirt that's for sale has been worn by Al Roker. I've worn it at least for five minutes. Yeah, all right. Uh, Al Roker, thank you very much well, for coming on the program. thank you for having me. Uh, Peter Berg. Peter Berg is coming up. He's little... great. He's terrific. We love him. But first, ladies and gentlemen, there's this important word from Wendy's. Try Wendy's new honey ham and chicken sandwich. Mm. Chicken doesn't get any better than this. I can't imagine how. Just ask our old friend, Johnson the Chicken. It, isn't that right, Johnson? Oh, that's right, Conan. I hate to say it because cannibalism is such a taboo subject, but I love chicken. <laughs> Check it out. We got a lot of shows still coming up with Tina's like an arrow for everyone. Thank you.